In today's video, I'll be building some wooden fences to continue my diorama build from last week, which is linked in the top right hand corner. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Dave and I am Military Diorama. Welcome to my channel. I'll be demonstrating a couple of techniques for different wooden fences and also a corrugated steel fence. The main product for the build will be balsa wood but I'll also be using some burger skewers for the fence posts but you can cut these out of balsa wood and also I'll be using a takeaway foil container for the corrugated steel. These wooden fence panels are really easy to construct. One of the most useful tools that I've got is this caught back ruler which stops it from slipping on the wood when you're cutting. All the fence panels I'll be constructing are six foot tall and here are the equations that I use to work out the size of the fence panel in 1 to 35 scale. I start with a piece of 0.5mm balsa sheet and I cut this to the right height which is 52mm and then I'll cut this normally I use two or three cuts that are shallow but because it's quite thin I can just cut through it with one quick swipe and it's a fresh blade as well so it cuts quite easily Then I start cutting the planks out. These are about five to seven mil wide. I don't measure it out, I just cut them by eye. Next I cut out some thinner strips for the cross bracing on the fence panel. Then I secure the planks of the fence panel with some masking tape just to keep it in place while I glue it. Make sure all the planks are aligned and then make sure that it's all secure with the masking tape before I start gluing. Then using some BMS super glue, I put some dabs along where I want the battens to be, then I'll secure the battens. I fix the bottom of the panel as well and then I move on to the cross braces using the same method but I'll have to remove the masking tape to get them in the right place which was a bit of an oversight on my part but I fit the one and then move on to the next.
Once all the cross braces are fitted, I'll do the two sides of the panel just to tidy it up. And that's one fence panel complete. The next fence I'll be doing will be a corrugated steel fence with wooden fence posts. I start off with a, a takeaway container a full takeaway container and I smooth that out I buy new ones from um, a bargain store I smooth out so it's flat then cut out a panel in this case it's 52 millimeters tall for the six foot and then just using the width of the ruler I cut the strip down and I do this for four or five panels or however many I need you can also use this technique for for roofing for corrugated steel roofing and other things like that I'm cutting down with three or four cuts rather than one cut. If I use one cut, it tends to tear the, the foil. To create the corrugated steel texture, I use an evergreen sheet of corrugated steel, but this isn't it's got a flat back so you can't use it for fencing because it's got no profile to it. This is 1.5mm spacing and I use a copy stirrer that I've sharpened the end of to push the foil into the indents in the evergreen sheet. This is how I make the corrugated sheets. You can buy tools to do it or you can also buy corrugated sheets off eBay or Amazon but I choose to do this because it's, well, it's cheaper. You can also buy different spacings for different scales. It's I think it was about five pound a sheet of plastic, so it's, it's well worth it. Once I've done the sheets of corrugated steel, I attach these to some balsa buttons. Just using super glue again, I just use two buttons, one for the top, one for the bottom. And just give them a little bit of an overlap as well. The sheets that is. Just be careful not to flatten out the corrugated texture when you're pushing down the, the buttons.
I also use a small amount of activator because the glue will set quicker by doing this and it just keeps it in place. Okay. And then using some of the burger skewers, I cut these to length and stick these on for the fence posts. And that's the car getting steel fence finished. The next type of fencing I'll be doing is a more commercial fence where you have long buttons with fence posts and then just planks nailed to the cross members and you cut all the wood out in the same way and basically just fix a run of planks all the way along the wood, the wood buttons. Once all the planks are fitted and the glue's gone off, I again use cocktail skewers or burger skewers to make the fence panels. Just clean off the excess cross members and super glue the fence post to the back of it. I just cut them to height with the pointy end at the bottom so it sticks into the, the base easier. You can also cut these posts out of balsa wood, but I just find it easy using these as I have them. I hope you enjoyed the video. My next one will be on painting fence panels and also painting the diorama base and possibly doing some foliage, which I'm putting off to be honest because I'm not that good at foliage, but I'll give it a go. Here are some stills of the finished fencing when it is painted. And hopefully you'll enjoy the next video. See you soon, thanks for watching and bye.